All right, so check it out. Uh, this thing from Particle, uh, Boron 44X. Um, pretty cool, actually. A little spendy, but pretty cool. Um, so this is the device right here. And you don't have to ignore all this shit on my desk. This is my work area. Um, so this is the device right here. It's kind of like an Arduino uh, a little bit. It has got all your little uh, headers and stuff on it that you can connect to and do different stuff with. Um, but it also has a cellular modem built in as well as Bluetooth and NFC. Uh, you can power it via lithium polymer battery, USB, mic well, sorry, micro USB. Um, and it also has header pins, I believe, on here that you can power it with. Uh, the little dangly thing that has the tape is the cellular antenna with the dog hair on it. And uh, that little LED is a status LED telling you that it is currently connected to cellular. Uh, you can add in another right underneath my thumb there, SIM card if you like, but it has a SIM card and an eSIM built in called an EtherSIM. Uh, Particle offers a free, uh, I guess, sandbox demo thing on their console here that you can use. It gives you like 100 megs free a month and uh, I think 100,000 data operations or something like that. Um, but anyway, point is, uh, I have a person, a farm partner, who wants to monitor firewood and wants to give uh, people who are recurring customers like restaurants who use firewood for uh, cooking a uh, button. Basically, you know, a button like this, right? You know, a little beefed up, a little better than this, but, you know, like something they can put on top of a bin and when they're out of firewood or three quarters uh, down or something like that, they just push the button and suddenly there will be more firewood in their bin. Um, that's where this thing comes in. Uh, it doesn't require any Wi-Fi or uh, Ethernet or any connectivity like that because it is cellular. Uh, so what we would do is get like a Pelican box, a little, little tiny guy or something like that, put this in there with a nice beefy LiPo battery, um, make a USB port uh, external like waterproof or whatever, uh, make a waterproof button on it that way you know when the person decides they have too little wood they just go doink and push it and that wood shows up but they can also charge it too, to take it inside charge it whatever make sure it's fully charged um, so let's do a little demo here uh, now you can see this code here and this is just code I got off of the uh, the libraries function right there a little tag um, but it's basic and that's exactly what I want. I don't need anything fancy. I don't need it to blink LEDs or do any crazy shit that all the other stuff seems to want to do. I just need it to send a notification and do a button, uh, do a button pro uh, event. And that's what this does. So in this case, uh, you know, if we do one click, I need a cord of wood, two, two cords, three, three cords. And if we press and hold, uh, you can, you know, I need wood right away, right? Address, call this number uh, to confirm. So, uh, but that'll send to this console. So if we press the button one time, I need a cord of wood. Two times, two cords of wood. Three cords. And if we press and hold, I need wood right away. So you can expand that. See there. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, like I said, it is not, it does not have a wireless chip on it. Like, uh, of course that's just, doesn't have anything on it, but there is no wireless on this. Uh, like I said, only Bluetooth. You can see the UFL connector with the antenna plugged into it. It doesn't say anything, but if you look on the back side, you see it says BT on that UFL connector right there, a little circular thing. And we have one up here that says NFC, that little tiny guy right there. There is no wireless, um, except cellular. So this is completely uh, non-local network connected. You can, you know, I can plug a battery into it, take it down to the woods, press a button. As long as I have a cell signal, that notification will come through. Uh, the thing I do have to explore is under integrations right here. And we add a new integration. We have web hooks. So I'm pretty sure that I can push that notification to like a, 
a cell phone or something. I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do here, but uh, yeah, I'll figure it out. Something to do because, uh, you know, if, if say a restaurant needs that, uh, that wood right now, right? Um, the guy that produces it is going to want to get notified immediately. Um, oftentimes restaurant owners and those kinds of people don't really have the time to call you and deal with you and, you know, decide what they want. It's easier to set it up one time, say, I want, you know, a quart of wood. They press the button, they get a quart of wood and they're done. There's no dicking around. No, no, like any of that stuff. So, um, yeah, uh, if we can get this connected, so it sends us, uh, sends a text message to the guy producing the wood, uh, with like the address and stuff like that, um, all the better because, you know, just make it easier. Uh, anyway, hope maybe you learned a little something here, or at least thought this was kind of cool. I think it's kind of neat, fully cellular. Um, so, you know, an Arduino that with the essentially just a cellular Arduino, I think that's pretty, pretty slick. And, uh, you know, the option to connect a battery to it with built-in battery charging. Uh, so no need to disconnect and charge the battery separately or any of that bullshit. So anyway, thanks guys. And, uh, I'll see you later.